what is up everyone this is somnath coder from future coders in this video tutorial we are going to be building this random number generator using html css and javascript this is going to be a very beginner friendly javascript project so let's see what is exactly are we going to be building in this video as you can see if i click on this generate button it's going to generate a new random number between 1 to 100 as you can see Every time I click on this, it's going to generate a new random number. So guys, this is what we'll be building in this video. It's going to be very fun. It's going to be for complete beginners. So if you are new to this channel, please make sure you subscribe to our channel. I make videos on front end development and I also build lots and lots of JavaScript projects. So please make sure you subscribe to our channel and also don't forget to smash that like button on this video. So let's start building this. <laughs> All right, let's start building this. As you can see, I have already created the boilerplate for HTML and I have linked our local CSS file as well as my local JavaScript file. They are empty, as you can see. All right, inside the body, let's start building this. I will say a container. Inside the container, I will have an S2, H1, random number generator. Right after this H1, I am going to have a span tag with an ID of number. Initially, it's going to be 0. And right after this, I will have a button with an ID of, with an ID of, that's all right, a button with an ID of generate btn. This button is going to say generate. That's it. Alright, that's it for our HTML. Now it's time for CSS. For the CSS, I will target everything. First, I will set the font family to sans serif. Let's change the margin to 0, padding to 0, box sizing to border box. That's it. Now, let's target our whole body. For the whole body, I will change the background color. To this gray color height to 100 view heights let's center everything by saying display of flex align items to the center justify content to the center that's it as you can see now we have centered uh, vertically and horizontally now let's target our container for the container I will say uh, background color of white Padding all around to 2 rem, border radius to 1 rem to make the corners rounded. I will also add a text align to center. Let's also add a border of 0.1 rem solid black color. That's it. Now let's target the H1 that is inside the container. H1, I will say margin bottom of 1 rem. Right now, let's also target the span which is inside the container. So, container span for the span, I will say display of block margin bottom 1 rem font size 8 rem to make it big and change the color to orange. Right, that's it. Now it's time for our button. Inside the container, we have all right. Inside the container, we have the button. For the button, I will say outline to none, border to none. I will add a padding of 0.5 RM to the top and bottom, and 1 RM to the left and right. Font size, let's make it big, 1.5 rem. Let's also add a border radius of 1 rem. Background color, let's change it to black. And color of the text to white. And let's make the cursor to pointer. As you can see, when I hover on it, the cursor turns to pointer. Alright, that's it for our HTML. And CSS, now it's time for our JavaScript. For the JavaScript, I need access to this number to update it. 
and this generate button right so let's get access to that for the span i have given an id of number and for the button i have given an id of generate button so inside the javascript i'll say const i will create a first number document dot get element by id first id is going to be this number right all right now we have access to that number the second thing which i'll be directing is uh, this generate btn we have given it an id of generate btn so what i'll do is all right now we have access to both the span and our generate btn uh, next thing i will be doing is i will create a function which is going to generate a random number so here i will say random number generator this is going to be an error function inside this error function let's first generate our random number first the way i can generate a random number is by using math dot random obje object all right first let's console log what do we have here random number and i need to call this function all right let's inspect and open up our console as you can see there we have our number it's between by default it's going to generate a random number between 0 to 0 0.9999 and 99 all right hope you got hope you got the point if i refresh as you can see it's going to generate a new random number it's going to generate a random number between 0 and 0 0.999 all right uh, 0 to it's going to actually generate a random number between 0 to 1 actually but excluding 1 excluding 1 means uh, up to 0 0.999 right so that's what i mean so what i want is i want to generate random numbers between 10 and 0 all right let's multiply it by 10 let's see what happens as you can see now we are getting random number between uh, 0 to 9 actually excluding 10 all right as you can see excluding uh, as you can see now we also have the 0 up to 9 also we saw but we are not seeing 10 right uh, so in order to get the 10 what i will do is i will add a plus 1 this is going to generate a random number between 1 and 10 that's it let's see let me actually as you can see there was 1 but we are not saying 10 but it will be included as you can see in the previous we also saw 10 all right but i don't want that gibberish these values right so to get rid of that i will be using a math dot floor function and wrap this math dot random inside that it is going to floor uh, it is going to round the round to the nearest round uh, down to the nearest number all right as you can see it's going to round it's going to round down as you can see now we have number random numbers between 1 to 10 that's it now all i want to do is update this number update this num number inside the span so for the span i have stored it inside the number what i will do is number dot text content i will say random number as you can see there we have our random number guys as you can see when i refresh it's going to generate a new random number and if i click on this generate button it's not it's not going nothing is happening right so what i will do is we have access to this generate btn right i will add an event listener for i will add an event listener so here i will say add event listener listen for the click so when the user clicks i want you to call this function that's it guys as you can see if i click on this generate button nothing actually works uh okay i need to get rid of these brackets All right as you can see every time i click on this generate button it's going to generate a new random number between 1 to 10 if you want to generate random numbers between 1 to 100 all you have to do is add 100 over here as you can see now we have random numbers between 1 to 100 all right guys hope you guys enjoyed and hope you guys learned something from this video 
so that's it for this video and if you are new to this channel please make sure you subscribe to our channel and also don't forget to smash that like button uh, also please make sure you check out my previous javascript videos which i'll be linking down in the description box below so that's it and i will see you in the next one thank you for watching Thank mm -hmm. you.